What's up everyone? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a look at how to change the cabin air filter in a 2023 Nissan Rogue. I'll put a link in the description box of this video to where you can purchase these replacement cabin air filters if you're in need. So the cabin air filter for this Rogue is going to be behind the glove box. In order to get to it, we need to drop the glove box down. The first step in doing that is to open the glove box. And then if we take a look on the right hand side, this is the dampening latch right here. This is what allows the glove box to open slowly. I'll just get my finger around it and pop it off of there like that. Now there's two stops that are holding the glove box up, preventing it from coming down. We see one right here that my finger's on and there's another one just like it on the other side. So what I'm gonna do is push in towards the center of the glove box and then you can see it allows that uh, stop to clear. And I'll come over here and do the same thing. And this takes a good amount of pressure if you have both your hands free, you'll, it's probably easier to use both uh, two hands at the same time. But once we get those two stops to clear, the glove box will come down like that. Then if we take a look up in here, this item right here is gonna be the access door to the cabin filter. And there's a clip on the right hand side that'll push in. And then that door will pull off of there. Once we get that access door off, we can see our actual cabin filter right here. And this one's clean, it doesn't need to be changed yet. But when you put your new one in, make sure you're paying attention to the airflow arrow. You want your airflow arrow pointing down towards the floor. So to close it up, we'll reverse everything we just did. We'll slide our filter in, again, with our airflow arrow pointing down. Then we'll throw our access door back on. And on the right-hand side, there was that clip that we pushed in. On the left-hand side, you see that tab there? It just kind of tucks in. There's a little slot and then it'll snap on and then we'll pick our glove box up, push it up till those stops clear and hold it up. And then the last thing we need to do is come back over here, reattach the dampening latch and that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out. And I'd appreciate it. Thank you.